Hi friends. In this tutorial, let us discuss about the drag load of a forerunner. Drag is the total amount of energy required to rotate the endless fabric against the watering forces. This drag load is accelerating at lesser fabric tensions and high vacuum intensities at wider slot widths at more water area and therefore influences the rate of dewatering. For high speed four drainer paper machines, tri vacuum system is most advantageous over conventional dewatering system. We can be able to apply high intensities at suction tops to get more dryness values at lesser or same drag loads over conventional dewatering system. In this formula, I predicted a conventional suction tops dewatering system and a tri vacuum dewatering system. Dewatering elements are tri vacuum because we are uh, using high intensity CR in this uh, tri vacuum box. So, in general, it is uh, ceramic made because the friction coefficient of ceramic is very less than HDPE or polypic. So, the conventional system. In the conventional system, low vacuum box, say for example, 50 mm Hg vacuum applied and 60 mm is the slot width and the number of slots are 9, say for example. And 75 is the low vacuum second zone and the dual box, 100 mm Hg intensity applied and 40 mm is the gap and 125 mm is the intensity and 30 mm is the gap and the number of slots are 4 and 5 and 4 are dual box. Say for example, conventional the graduations are 140, 160, 180 say like that up to 240. We have 6 suction tops. Here tri vacuum box, low vacuum box, 2 files and a dual box, 100, 125 mm Hg and a high vacuum box, 150, 250, 350. Only 3 graduations are there, 3 suction tops are there and one suction top is 25 mm, 20 mm, 15 mm. Slot widths are like that. And number of slots are 8, 8, 6. And optimizing these for required dryness can be changed accordingly. Uh, let us discuss about. Uh, the conventional top, conventional or tri vacuum box, if the low vacuum box is 50 mm Hg instead of that in 50 mm Hg at these conditions the drag load is 191 kilowatts and I make it a 191 kilowatt and if any change change if any change we do it did it accordingly the difference value and percentage of rise will shown here. So, so suppose uh, I make uh, 50 mm Hg instead of 100 mm Hg, what happens let us see, 100 mm Hg and here the difference value will change, here, enter 100 mm Hg, now what happened, 30 percent of the total drive load has increased, actually the, the, before, before 100, uh, when it is 50 mm Hg, the drag load or the drive load is 191 theoretical drive load and after making it 100 uh, mm it become 250 watt so 30 percent of the rise is there similarly say for example it is 50 i make it 50 again and there is no difference and uh, say for example slot width i make it instead of 60 i make it 80 and a number of slots are 9 then what happened here 15 kilowatt uh, power has increased and 7.9 is the overall rise similarly here 0 0.06 I make it again 0 0.06 and a number of slots 
say for example in the dry vacuum box also same thing will happen 100 mmhg for example i make it 100 mmhg then what happened 30 percent 29.57 percent has increased so here 50 mmhg same we make it same as it is and here the graduations are 350 up to 350 we can in increase the intensity in the tri vacuum box and uh, in uh, many cases uh, the fabric tension is also influences the drag load say for example instead of 40 i make it 30 what happens let us see 30 and here you see 33 percent drive load has increased because uh, the vacuum is sucking the wire if the drag load is uh, the if the tension is less uh, the fabric deflection will be more and uh, it uh, takes more power to rotate the fabric that's why it has increased to 33 degrees uh, the, sorry 33 percent load has increased say for example it is 45 then 10 percent has reduced 11 percent has reduced and the number of slots also there say for example gap here 25 mm gap i i monitored uh, i initiated here and instead of that uh, we can make it uh, 20 mm and 16 mm 20 mm 16 mm and 12 mm say for example and 12 mm say for example what happened 30 percent 29.72 percent load has increased here tension is 45 say for example if the 40 is there then 20 percent of the energy conserved by reducing the slot width at high intensities and uh, optimizing these slots also required here say for example first 20 mm slots are 8 and 250 mm slots are uh, 250 intensity slots are 6 and 350 12 mm slots are 4 then what will happen 30 percent load as reduced total so this is the study over the dewatering forces dewatering force maybe drag load and here the drag load is 14.8 dry vacuum box drag load is reduced to 30 percent than before say for example 5 meters decal is there then i make it 3 meter decal 3 meter decal then what happened proportionally 40 percent has reduced in conventional system and 57 percent reduced in uh, Try vacuum system and a drag load reduced to 30 percent in this case so like this we can understand our requirement how much intensity is main to be maintained and what must be the slot width and where the intensity because vacuum is to apply in the ascending order if the water area is more then ultimately intensity will be less because air flow will be less there so if the air flow from the atmospheric air uh, coming from the water area is very less uh, that's why there there we have to maintain less intensity less intensity uh, similarly if the dryness is coming up uh, up to seven eight percent uh, dryness values then we can go for increasing the intensities from 152 to 350 mmhg 150 to 300 mmhg 350 mmhg then we can get the good dryness values in the 
similarly here uh, snapshots there are there dewatering system i make it in uh, 2013 before that i have the study uh, behind it here the conventional system figure 2 indicating increasing machine speed from 570 mm to 650 mm speed theoretical power rise is increased to 13 percent power increased 570 to 650 13 percent power is increased similarly here instead of 50 mm hg here i make it 100 mm hg then 47 percent rise is there in this tri vacuum box also i make it 50 m uh, 50 instead of 50 i make it 100 46.47 rise is there similarly here tension reduced from 40 newton per centimeter to 35 newton per centimeter then power reduced uh, power increased required is increased 14 percent is the difference drag load optimum drag load is 20.4 whereas the drag load is 23.1 so like this we can understand the vacuum intensities that required for a required dryness 60 mm to i make it 100 mm here before it was 60 mm i make it 100 mm slot width say such slots are 9 say for example then the 33 percent of load has increased in the tri vacuum section also 32 percent load has increased so optimizing slot widths op optimizing vacuum intensity optimizing number of slots these will lead to give the good dryness values for better runnability of the paper machine paper machine runnability mainly depends upon these things so and here indicating that first low vacuum file slot with 100 mm and fabric tension reduced by 35 mm 35 mm fabric uh, 35 newtons per centimeter fabric tension reduced and the width is 100 mm then 51 percent has increased so this calculator mainly prepared based on fabric deflection technology say for example here 100 uh, uh, instead of 40 it, it has 45 then load is reduced so these are the theoretical values and practically it may be 30 percent or 35 percent more than theoretical values it has been seen in many cases so hope enjoying these videos and uh, if you are like please subscribe and like it and subscribe me thank you very much